And now live from Miami, it's Plumbing with Rudy. All right, so today is my last day. Actually, I gotta come in for tomorrow some work, but I decided to start my weekend by changing out this. I've been looking at this and I was like, man, this thing really doesn't match the rest of my stuff here. Uh, most of my bars here are like, uh, they're kind of metallic like this. You got a pretty nice shower, like, like with the rainfall thing that I installed. And uh, I just didn't like this old faucet here. So I pulled it out already and I actually uh, took it over to Lowe's to figure out what it is. So what I want to point out, point this out to you guys is the fact that if you're replacing one that's standard like this, any ones that are split like this with a little plate that have the uh, regular uh, spacing in there, that's the kind you can get. And I spent uh, quite a while over there uh, to make sure the handles that I wanted and pretty much to have the faucet that I like. So here's what I picked. Like I said, if you look at the faucet, you got these on the bottom. Uh, this is kind of what kind of what I wanted. The one thing has changed since the last time I bought a, a, a faucet is the filters here. It used to be like a pop-off screw. There's some kind of a special wrench that fits in on top. I still got to figure out how to actually swap out those. They're not the same screw off like the other ones were. So you decided to change out your faucet. Oh, stupid, stupid man. Here's what the issue is. Uh, this actually took a little longer than I planned and we're going to work on this together. Uh, what you what you see, you can't unsee. I'm warning you now. I'm also telling you that I am not a professional plumber. I am, this is just the best practice that I found out that worked for me, like any of the other projects. So we'll start with the removal. We're taking this out and each a new faucet also comes with a new drain plug here. Okay, first thing you do is you want to clear out the mess underneath here and get yourself some rag because this stuff will drip. Uh, I am going to go through this one more time tomorrow just to make sure everything is good and tight. Uh, we're going to walk our way through what we need to do. So first thing you want to do is you want to turn off the water. All the way for me, it's clockwise. Both of them are off. Now the easiest way to get these off, I found out, is a wrench here on the bottom. Unscrew this. Like I said, I'm cheating because I've already kind of had this pre-loosened. And on top, this is screwed into those uh, copper ends. So what you want to do is you want to jiggle the hose as you're turning and you should be able to get it out by hand or maybe with a rag. So there's hose number one. And go through here. Here's hose number two on top. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to lose my signal again. There's hose number two. So that's done. And then you would loosen this, loosen this from the wall, which I've already done here. And if you need to, you can separate these. Um, this right here should not be here. This is a flex tube. And um, my plumbing must have been done by crackhead. I'll show you more of that in a minute here. So it's actually pretty easy. You pop this loose, get that loose, get this loose. And that was actually the holder for the sink or for the plunger. You can turn it like this. This will come down. You should have more room. Here's what they did with mine. So again, uh, don't be shocked all the sludge and crap that will come down this we will pretty much reuse as is we're going to drop the thing here with the rubber seal and then we're going to proceed to unscrew this knob here which will loosen the sink now the top this thing here is screwed on so this will be the next thing that we're pulling off so I'm going to put you down for a minute. Rotating this way. That should separate the pieces. Oh boy, it is nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. And it was even nastier before when I actually did this the first time. Okay, I do want to talk about this is gonna be hard to kind of show so I'm gonna talk about this piece here uh, this will be how to mount your new uh, sink 
So the top here is like this, and it's got a little hook, and that little hook is going to be facing this little hole. So the first thing we do is we loosen this. Insert the top. And we're going to put it right through the thing here. And then we're going to remove this little clip right here. And we're going to slide the ending back on here. We'll do that here in just a second. So, cap and top. Just to make sure you did this correctly. The top bounces up and down when you move. You probably did this correctly. And I just realized that uh, this will be done here underneath the sink at a later time. Uh, you got to wait till this this thing's actually installed. But that's how it actually works. So I'm gonna take this off again. All right, we're gonna take the top off. I'm going to take the top and actually drop it on top, put it in the sink hole. Should be flush. And then we're going to take the bottom piece here. We get the rubber piece here that we need right there. Line it up with the sink. And what you're doing is you're actually going to turn, you're going to hold down the top part and screw it in, turning this so you get a good C set. have it good and tight you're gonna have the you're gonna meet the bottom here and you're gonna push it upward to have a good seal to make sure you don't leak over here okay now my problem here in Miami is just not very happy with uh, some of the people who did some of my some of my work until the old one there's something wrong until on the new one here also something wrong uh, normally this thing should meet the hose and should be a perfect elbow into the outgoing uh, outgoing pipe not the case here so what we got to do is we got to get this thing in here so again make sure you have your your seal and your nut right there place it in and then you got to maneuver this. You just give me one second to maneuver this back in the hole here. So, I'm pretty much ready. So what we do is put this up here. Slide this on top. And... this maneuver this in here and then we go go ahead and tighten this so I'm working one-handed I'm gonna tighten that up tighten this up tighten this up and now we're gonna actually install the actual faucet now the one thing you already removed your hoses underneath the hoses are two little bitty nuts like, like this, they come off. And that's pretty much the only thing that's holding a sink in. That comes up, and out goes your faucet, and into the trash it goes. All right, you don't want to go too far, you may be reinstalling if something goes wrong. Now would be a good time to clean this out, which is what I'll do when I redo this again. 
right now we're just gonna go through on how to install this so we put in the bottom piece okay we're gonna slide in the existing holes and it covers perfectly and then what you'll do is use the brand new fasteners you received in here and you will tighten that up all hand grip no need to tighten it with a wrench you're liable to break it then you will reinstall the hoses and then you turn it on um, I'd say about an hour two hours if you got to do some cutting like me again this piece should not be here this should be a straight out shot going into this Anyway, if you have any questions uh, that I can answer, please like or subscribe and let me know what you think.